In this video, I'm going to compare standard shopping versus Performance Max campaigns in Google Ads in 2025. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can easily know which one you should be using. I'll give you the situations where you'd want to use Performance Max and the situations where you would want to use standard shopping. Stay tuned because later on I will also give you the new campaign structure that I'm running for clients in 2025 that uses both campaign types at the same time to give you the best of both worlds. Now if you're new here, my name is Daryl and I've been running a Google Ads agency called Big Flare for over 10 years now. I've worked with e-commerce clients in almost every industry imaginable and on this channel I bring you the real Google Ads growth strategies that are working right now. All right, without further ado, let's dive in. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison showing you the main differences between Google Shopping, aka Standard Shopping, and Performance Max. In terms of channels, Standard Shopping campaigns are going to get you on Google Shopping only. Performance Max, on the other hand, let you run shopping ads plus all this other stuff that you see here. Let's take a look at what the ads actually look like so I can show you what I mean. After you've searched for a product in Google, you will see these shopping ads up here at the top and they will have your product image, price, review stars, and you might get some product highlights like we can see here. And that's pretty much all you get with standard shopping campaigns. Performance Max, on the other hand, will get you across all of Google. That means YouTube ads, display ads, search ads, Discover, Gmail, and Maps. Within the search component of Performance Max, you actually get both shopping ads and search text ads like you see here in these examples. So Pmax basically includes the shopping ads you would get with a standard shopping campaign, but also adds in a bunch of other stuff to cover the whole Google network. It's also important to note that for e-commerce campaigns, most of the traffic that would be coming from YouTube and display would actually end up being retargeting traffic. So if you set up Pmax fully loaded with plenty of image assets and video assets, you're basically getting a retargeting campaign built in there too. In terms of bid strategies with standard shopping, you are going to be able to use manual cost per click, maximize clicks, or target return on ad spend, also known as target ROAS. Performance Max, on the other hand, offers some more conversion-focused automated bid types. It has maximized conversions or maximized conversion value, it has target CPA and target ROAS. But what it's missing is manual CPC and maximized clicks. For bid strategy portfolios, standard shopping does allow you to use them, but Performance Max does not. So I actually put this down as a pro for standard shopping and a con for Performance Max because bid strategy portfolios are really good to use when you have multiple campaigns and you want to share that conversion data across those campaigns for better automated bidding. Standard shopping gives you what I would call a proper search terms report which is a big pro in the corner of standard shopping, as the more detailed search terms report that you get gives you a lot more information that you can actually work with later on to optimize your campaigns. Performance Max does give you some search terms data in what it calls a search terms insights report. It's much better than nothing, but also the report is really fiddly and annoying to use because Google auto categorizes all the search terms and shows tons of duplicates within the report. Both campaign types now have negative keywords, and this is actually a new addition to Performance Max. You didn't used to be able to easily add negative keywords at the campaign level in Pmax. One thing standard shopping has, which Pmax currently does not though, is negative keyword lists. Not a huge deal breaker for me for Pmax, but it does mean keeping your campaign negative keywords up to date is a bit more fiddly when it comes to Pmax. With standard shopping, you get up to 20,000 ad groups, and with Pmax, you have asset groups instead, and you get 100 of them. Now, to be honest, I think 99% of advertisers are never going to need to use that many ad groups or asset groups, so this one is kind of a moot point. The way campaign priority works is an interesting new development since the end of 2024. It used to be that if you ran both campaign types at the same time, Pmax would always get priority, and your standard shopping campaigns would get nothing. Meaning if you tried to run them at the same time, Pmax gets all the spend and you have this sad standard shopping campaign just sitting there doing nothing. Recently though, Google changed this. Nowadays, if you run both campaign types at the same time, whichever campaign has the highest ad rank will get the click. So this actually opens up the option for running both campaigns at the same time, getting you the best of both, 
which is a new strategy that's working for me and my clients in 2025. Later in the video, I will show you this strategy in a bit more detail. In terms of the content you will need to have to get these campaign types live, for standard shopping, all you need is your shopping feed. For Pmax, you still need your shopping feed, and to be able to run all the other ad types, you need to add up to 15 headlines, 5 long headlines, 5 descriptions, 5 logos, 20 images, and 5 videos. So there's going to be a bit more work involved in terms of content for your Pmax ads. Okay, now we have the main pros and cons, and let's do standard shopping first. Standard shopping, I love the fact that you can use bid strategy portfolios. With standard shopping, you also might have a better chance of hitting a higher return on ad spend at the beginning because it's focused only on shopping ads, and so the system does not need to test all those other ad formats. Most of those other ad formats don't usually get as good of a return on ad spend as shopping anyway. Standard shopping gets better search terms data, and again, because it's only on shopping, it can be less volatile than Performance Max. You need to be aware though that with standard shopping, if you want to be on those other good performing channels like say search text ads and retargeting, you need to set those up separately so it's a bit more manual work to be going across all of Google's network. Shopping also comes with the con of having lower reach than Performance Max, and I also don't like the fact it doesn't allow you to use maximize conversions or maximize conversion value bidding, which are probably the two best bid strategies when you're starting a new campaign. In Pmax's corner, the main pros are, for one, that it does allow you to start out with maximize conversions or maximize conversion value. That's great, and you're normally going to want to start new campaigns with one of those two bid strategy options. Pmax goes across all campaign types and thus gets higher reach, a highly automated campaign setup, and so it's a much easier setup if your goal is to go out across all of Google's campaign types. You won't have to set up the other campaign types like search and retargeting yourself with Performance Max, which can be handy if you're not experienced or if you're short on time. Pmax does have these cons though, you get a lot less control than you do with standard shopping, and you don't get to use bid strategy portfolios. It can be a bit more volatile due to it needing to test so many ad types, and as I already mentioned, the search terms report in Pmax is annoying, to put it mildly. Let's talk next about when you should use standard shopping. I'd recommend standard shopping if you are just starting out and you have a smaller total budget of $3,000 per month or less. It's also the place to start if your goal right now is not necessarily to maximize your reach, but instead to get to a profitable return on ad spend as quickly as you can. Standard shopping is also the one to choose if you plan to actively mine your search terms data to use for doing stuff like feeding your non-branded search campaign. Now, this is a strategy I highly recommend where you check your search terms report about once per week and grab any high converting keywords out of there and then actually add them as search keywords in a search campaign. You can do something similar with Performance Max by checking its Search Insights report, but the data is more lacking and it's much harder to pull out the most useful keywords from there. Another time you can use standard shopping is if you already have a very mature Performance Max campaign and it seems to have plateaued in terms of scaling. You can't crank up the spend profitably anymore in Pmax and now you're looking for more efficiency and better overall return on ad spend in your Google Ads account. At this time, what you can then do is add standard shopping into your existing Performance Max campaign setup and move to my new campaign structure for e-commerce in 2025, which I call the best of both worlds structure. Now later in the video, I'll dive into the best of both worlds strategy. But before I show you that one, let's quickly talk about when to use Performance Max. I'd use Performance Max if you're just starting out and have a bigger budget of over $3,000 per month for Google Ads. It's the place to start if you don't mind taking perhaps a bit longer to get to your return on ad spend target, and your goal really is to maximize your reach and drive as much total revenue as you can from Google Ads without needing to set up multiple campaign types. Pmax is also worth using if you want to be on all those campaign types I mentioned before, including search text ads and display retargeting and video retargeting, but you don't want to set up all the other manual campaigns that would be needed to get this going. If that's the case, Pmax is your one-stop shop for all campaign types in Google. Another time for Pmax is if you already have a fully developed standard shopping campaign and now you want to more easily widen your reach and access all that other stuff like search and retargeting that Performance Max does, but you don't know how or don't want to set those up as separate campaigns. If 
If this sounds like you, then again, you are going to want to use my best of both worlds setup, which I will explain next. But before I dive into that, let me take a moment to let you know about my custom Google Ads growth plan. Optimizing Google Ads to a sky-high ROAS is hard, and keeping up with all the latest changes and strategies can feel like a full-time job. With a custom Google Ads growth plan, you will get a fully customized audit document, plus a one-hour consultation with a senior ad strategist from my team that shows you exactly what to do in Google Ads and in what order for maximum growth. For previous growth plan clients, we've seen an $83,000 increase in monthly revenue for an event decor company and a 120% increase in conversions for a gifting company, just to name a few. What happens with the custom growth plan is my team and I will audit your Google Ads account and create a custom action plan document for you. This custom plan is actually guaranteed to get you a profitable increase in revenue. It even has a money back guarantee. Now, if that sounds interesting, then hit the link in the description below this video for the custom Google Ads growth plan. You'll be able to book a time to talk with me so we can figure out if the custom growth plan can help you scale your business. All right, let's get back to the video and let's dive into the best of both worlds campaign setup. So now let's talk about this, which I call the best of both worlds campaign setup. Since Google changed the campaign priority system end of last year, it made this campaign setup possible. And this is something we've been transitioning our clients over to at my agency, Bigflare, and are seeing good results with so far. In this structure, you will have the bulk of your shopping ad spend going into standard shopping. What I have here is just an example structure for your standard shopping. I'm not saying you have to follow this exact campaign structure for standard shopping, but I am just putting it down here just so I can show you the main idea. Also note that the target ROAS settings I put in here are just examples too, just to give you the idea. You don't have to be at exactly these target ROAS numbers. They are there just to show you the main idea. So the main idea is you have the bulk of shopping ads going into your standard shopping campaigns where you can focus that spend on shopping, which is generally the best performing campaign type. You then layer on an additional performance max campaign. And here's the important part you make sure that it has a target ROAS bid strategy with a higher target ROAS than you have in your standard shopping campaigns. As I mentioned before, nowadays, if you run standard shopping and performance max at the same time, it's no longer performance max that gets automatic priority. Instead, it's the campaign with the highest ad rank that gets the click. And ad rank is determined mostly in this scenario by how high your cost per click bid is. So when you put a lower target ROAS in standard shopping, the system will be running higher cost per click bids in your standard shopping, ensuring standard shopping has a higher ad rank and thus ensuring that most of your shopping ads traffic will flow into the standard shopping campaign where you can usually ensure best performance. Performance Max is here with the higher target ROAS and its purpose is to discover new parts of the network that can convert for you. It can try out some new corners of the shopping ads network that maybe standard shopping might have missed. It can try out doing some retargeting and some search ads for you. And it can help discover new audiences that work for you that you might not have thought to target previously. So that's why I call it the best of both worlds strategy. Standard shopping is there running at a lower target ROAS and getting that awesome strong performance and lower volatility that you tend to see in standard shopping. But Pmax is here too, running at a higher target ROAS so that it doesn't steal budget from standard shopping. And it's here to discover new parts of Google's network and new audiences that you might not be hitting in your main standard shopping campaign. Now, as I say, we've tested this already on a handful of e-commerce clients and are seeing strong results so far. My plan is to be moving more of my clients over to this setup or something like it this year. This is a bit more of an advanced setup for those of you who are already experienced in Google Ads. And if you're newer to Google Ads, then I do recommend sticking with either standard shopping or Pmax, but not both. Do that at least until you're plateaued and needing to scale to the next level. Thanks for watching, guys, and I truly hope you got some good value out of this video. If you're looking for more high quality Google Ads advice, then check out this video right up here. In that video, I dive into the one little setting that you can tweak in your Pmax or standard shopping campaign that could net you some serious additional profit with this one little tweak. So go check it out if that sounds good, and I hope to see you on the next one.